Today we're going to draw a bug's eye view of a snowman. So when you get your paper, turn it tall, like the hamburger direction, and write your name and your class code on the back corner. In case you mess up, you can flip it over to the back and use the back to try again. Then flip it over, and you're going to use a pencil, but I'm going to use a sharpie so you can see. Draw a big curve that goes from one side of the paper to the other. Then from here on out, I want you to do a ghost drawing with your finger and practice drawing the second part of the snowman's body. Practice about three times to make sure it's not too small and not too large. Then, in pencil, draw the middle part of his body. Now it's not going to be a perfect circle because remember back to first grade when we made this snowman and we talked about bug's eye or worm's eye view? Well, we're going to do that again, but with a third grade project. So when you are looking from above, like a bird, you see a certain viewpoint. Just like when you are on the ground looking up, like a worm's eye view or a bug's eye view. Things that are closer to you with a bug's eye, worm's eye view, closer things are larger, like the guy's legs. Things that are farther away, like the guy's head, are smaller. So, it's like we just made the snowman, we're laying on the ground making a snow angel, so the circle isn't perfectly round. It's a little curved, like a letter C. Then you're going to make the top. It's also going to be not a complete circle. It's like a letter C that's backwards. I want to leave room for a hat for my snowman, so make sure not to make it too big. All right, now we're going to start to draw the nose, just like in first grade when it looked like a unicorn horn, but in fact, that is how a carrot looks from below. So it starts near the top of the head with a curve at the bottom of the carrot to make the carrot look like it's round, when in fact, we're just drawing it so it's actually flat. But start right in the middle of your head of the snowman and draw a curve near the top. Then you are going to draw two straight lines diagonally and make sure that they reach beyond the top of the head to give it the illusion. And then with your thin marker pen draw some lines on the carrot so it makes it look like an actual carrot, not just a triangle birthday hat. Then just like in first grade, you guys are going to draw just the bottom of the eyes because that's all you see from the bug's eye view. a little white showing so it looks like a highlight. You can do that too if you want. Then choose from my suggestions for the mouth or you can make up your own mouth. I'm going to kind of use a combination of a couple that I see on this suggested list. Draw it in pencil first. Don't worry, you're going to get a sharpie marker to trace over in a minute. draw the tongue. It looks like he's happy to see it snowing. Now choose a type of hat. You could do a top hat or you could do like a Santa elf hat. So start with a curve at the top 
and then a curve that's falling to the side and another curve line and then draw the little poof at the end. If you want to draw a top hat, it's kind of similar, but it's just a straight curve. Two straight lines up, and then a parallel line to the brim, which is curved. For a scarf, you're going to go right by his chin and just draw a thin curve line right under his mouth. And then you can decide if you want the scarf to come off one side or two sides. Make sure it's connected to that line under his chin. I'm going to kind of plan it with my fingers first. I want it to come off both sides. Then draw your curvy line and some fringe, more ribbony lines with some fringe, and then you can decorate it. You can do trees, ornaments like I did, hearts, stars, you could just do stripes or polka dots. And then when we get color next week, you can color it in however you like. So one of your learning goals is to show the art element of distance or space. So how you do that is you change the size of something like, in this case, the buttons. Remember, things that are closer to you are larger. Things that are farther away or up on the snowman are smaller. So choose a button type that you like and then start to draw your buttons at the bottom of your paper near the bottom of your snowman. They're going to be large buttons and then they get a little smaller as they go up. You should probably be able to fit two, maybe three large buttons at the bottom and then because they're smaller at the top you could fit three. Don't forget the buttonholes. I'm going to make my buttons 3D, so I'm going to draw a line at the bottom and the left side of the tree. Alright, let's not forget about the arms. At the middle of the snowman, draw two straight lines. They could be bent in different directions. And then draw parallel lines, which means they're following the same path, but they get a little smaller at the end. Curve to make the branch look round, just like we did on the carrot nose. Draw some wood grain and add some more little branches to make it look more like a branch. All right, when you're done with the branch arms, find an idea sheet with snowflakes on it. It's two-sided. And grab a marker pen, which is the thinner pen. And in the negative space, in the background, around your snowman, just draw any type of snowflake that you like. All snowflakes are different, or you could do some the same. If you want to draw it in pencil first, you can, but I just went for it in marker pen.